Hi, it's Suzanne here with a deep stretch yoga session for you. And we're gonna concentrate and work on our shoulders and chest area, lower back as well. If you have a chair, go ahead and bring that. We're gonna start seated and be close to a wall. A strap or belt is handy as well. So bring yourself and find yourself comfortably seated in the chair. Feet down by your side, palms up, invites energy in, relax your elbows by your side, palms down. We'll go ahead and feel and bring you to a sense of grounding. So whatever you're needing right now, we're gonna do three rounds of a cleansing breath. So I want you to exhale out through the mouth, sigh it out, relax the jaw. But we're also gonna suspend the breath when we hold it up at the top. So we'll start with an inhale, filling up. It's like you're pulling that breath all the way from your feet. And then exhale, sigh it out. Again, inhale, fill up. Hold. Exhale, sigh out. And one more time. Inhale, filling everything up. See if you can take another sip of breath. Hold. Exhale, sigh out. Beautiful. So maybe you feel a sense more of grounding energy coming down. That type of breath work, if you're feeling incredibly stressed and overwhelmed, you want to connect with that coming down and energy settling, coming back home. About five to seven breaths of that. You can take a hand, place it on your belly if you're doing that. You need to connect a little bit more, but it helps anytime, anywhere. So I want you to, when we go through this practice, to notice your breath. Don't judge it. You're just becoming aware of it and notice any areas you're holding some tightness and tension. And I'll keep bringing you back to have you ask you where your breath is captured. And find a natural breath rhythm. If it's through the nose, if it's with the mouth open, go ahead and what works for you. So let's release from that area from right below the ear all the way down to the shoulders. So that tightness coiled up area. Inhale, fill up like a string at the crown of your head, pulling you upright, nice and regal. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder. So maybe if you tilt the chin down a bit and that tension spot at the base of the skull is really kind of talking to you, feels tight, just hang out there, sometimes chin up. You find your own space. And if there's a lot of mind chatter, softly close your eyes or just soften your gaze. Let the chin come in towards the chest and roll side to side, left to right. And do this movement slowly, exaggerate it. Connect with how your body is feeling right now. And think of all those channels and areas of tightness. And you're just gonna let the magic of your breath Loosen up some space. Last rotation. And then arrive back up to center, shoulders up to your ears, down the back. So inhale, fill up. And exhale, go ahead and bring your right ear to right shoulder. Tilt the chin down or chin up. Let that 
sensation of that water falling, of warm water just rolling off that shoulder. Feel that sense of grounding. Feet, your energy all the way down. And chin towards the chest, go side to side. So if you have that full range, full circle capability, go ahead and do that now. If not, just enjoy this back and forth. Last rotation. And come back upright. So bring your arms down by your side. Fingers giving a stretch wide. On an inhale, pick up space, stretch. Bring yourself all the way up. If it's comfortable with your neck, look up. Palms press together. Bring it down the center line of the body. Inhale, fill everything up and expand. Let it all close. Again, inhale. Open up. Exhale. So this next time when we're up, we're going to go ahead and have a twist. So arms up overhead. Bring your left palm outside of your palm to the outside of your right thigh and knee. So keep from collapsing in the belly and the core, your still tall spine. If it's comfortable with your neck, you can look out over that right shoulder. But again, not forcing anything. So just inviting the nice twist in the spine. Center, inhale, sweep that up. And exhale over to the other side. So a lot of this is just body awareness. Body awareness of how you're feeling. And you're not casting any judgment. Especially if it's tight. You want to honor that. And you want to let that magic of your breath. And that exhale to let stuff back towards center. Sides of the body, you don't get a lot of breath, you know, a lot of movement there. So inhale, sweep arms up, interlace your fingers, reverse the grip of the palms so they're up. Exhale for a moment, soften the shoulders. And then on an inhale, think you're being pulled up towards the ceiling or the sky and sway over to the right. Doesn't have to be a big movement. Still breathe here. Back towards center. Relax the shoulders for a moment. And then an inhale, fill up. And exhale over to the left. Back towards center. This time, release the hand grip. And we'll take the right hand to the left wrist. Inhale up. Exhale, sway over to the right. Maybe this time you can go a little bit deeper. Still keep your feet grounded down. Back to center. Switch sides. Inhale up. Exhale over. So think of that rib cage, intercostal muscles, all that area. Deserve some well-deserved rest as well. Back towards center. So arms are up overhead, palms away. Inhale, fill up, and exhale, slow motion. Really active arms, muscles. Take that all the way down. And release shoulders up to your ears, down your back, a few rotations, other direction. 
So another area we hold a lot of tension and tightness is in our hands, fingers, and wrists. Just do so much with them every day. And it holds up all that tightness and tension. Um, and sometimes you're not aware of it until you start to stretch it and breathe into it. So we'll start with our right arm, extend it out, palm pressed away, and bring your left fingers, just enough to apply a little bit of pressure. And so notice where your breath is captured. Notice if you're holding it anywhere. Just keep that wave-like motion with that breath. Fingers down, a little bit of pressure on the top sometimes makes it a little bit deeper. And then a circle rotation, an exaggerated slow, like you're moving through water. And then pull your fingers into a tight fist. Pull everything in, like all that energy. Hold it, contract it, hold it, hold it, suspend. Exhale, side out. <sighs> Beautiful, stretch the fingers wide. And open and close those fingers. And then you can gently shake that wrist out. So that contracting and holding like we do with our fists, so much in the day we're in that fight or flight mode and we don't even realize it. So this is a beautiful time to bring awareness to that. And this left arm, left palm, breathing into that. Sometimes it helps to bring awareness, fingers pointed down, to your body and how it's feeling like you would for a friend, a family member, or a loved one. You wouldn't judge. You would try to be compassionate and empathetic. Try to feel that for your body and let that breath kind of give it that love. And then circle out. And then that tight fist feeling, everything pulled in, elbow by your side. You can scrunch up your face, hold everything in. Exhale, side out. <sighs> Beautiful. Open and close. Gently shake that out. So we're gonna go ahead and come up off the chair. So you wanna go ahead and bring that chair over to the side for a moment. And we'll do a few rounds of forward folds before we go into some shoulder openers. So soften in the knees as much as you need to. Let's start by warming up the knees and connecting with putting our weight in our heels by squatting down. Just go to how comfortable it feels for you. Have your feet about mat distance apart. On an inhale, open up. Palms together, and exhale, start to descend down. Again, you're just warming up your knees and your legs, so you don't have to go too far in this. Just connect with putting the weight more in your heels as you sit back. Inhaling up, exhale down. One more time. And this time, stay as low as you comfortably can in this squat. And then you're in a forward fold, dive forward. You might want to heel toe your feet closer. 
But if this is your first forward fold of the day, and this is, we're gonna do this anyway, you're gonna keep a good solid bend in the knees. You're gonna let your chest rest on your thighs. Hands can be grounded down to the earth, or you can clasp your elbows, create some movement sway. But I want you to nod your head yes and no. Imagine your head, it's a ripe piece of fruit about ready to fall. So you're elongating in the neck and the spine. If you have to a few times, just nod your head yes and no. Just a few more breaths here. So I want you to ragdoll your arms. I want you to bring your belly button in towards your spine, no weight in your head. You're gonna slow motion, like you're a puppet, bringing yourself upright. Again, belly button in, soften the bend in the knees as much as you need to, honoring that path. No weight, it should feel kind of good. It's like you're just suspending your arms and your head into the air. And swaying up, last thing that comes up is the crown of your head. Bring your shoulders gently up to your ears, let them fall down your back. A few rotations, the other direction. Arms down by your side, inhale, sweep up, open up. Palms together, exhale, side out. Beautiful. So this is where we're going to release in the shoulders and the chest. And you're going to bring yourself to a wall or a window. Your feet are going to face the wall, the window. And your arm, your right, we'll start with our right side. Our right arm is going to extend out to shoulder height. So from here, you're going to start to walk your feet to, oops, sorry, to the left. So connect with that right shoulder. If it's comfortable with your gaze, you can look out over that left shoulder. If it's comfortable with your neck, cervical twist. If not, just keep it neutral. So your right hip is towards that wall. You wanna not be feeling too much of a pull. You don't wanna have numbness or too much tingling or definitely any pain here. This is a big opener of the shoulders. Kind of breathing here. Kind of reversing that rounding of the shoulders we do during the day. And then we'll slowly back out of it as we came into it. You'll bring your feet back towards the wall. You'll release that arm and you'll start some shoulder knee rotations the other direction. So we'll go over to the other side. Left arm extended out to shoulder height, toes are towards the wall window. And you'll start to walk your feet over to the right this time. Cervical twist, you can invite looking over that right shoulder or if it's comfortable. We want to bring more of our focus on this opening of your wingspan of your shoulders. Notice again where that breath catches. Hold that breath deep if you need to and let go slowly. It's really tight. And slowly start to walk your feet back. Gently and carefully remove that arm, slow motion, few shoulder rotations other direction. So then I want you to bring your hands to the wall about shoulder height 
then you're gonna start to walk your feet back. So your head's gonna come down between your arms and you can adjust your feet, widen them if you'd like to. So this is a deep, deep stretch. You feel this a lot of times all the way down the hamstrings and the calves as you let go, breathing into the back as well, and the shoulders right underneath the arm. And slowly come back up, right? And then we're going to bring ourselves onto our mat. Have the strap handy. So we're gonna do one forward fold. And again, you're gonna soften in the knees as much as you need to. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And as you exhale, hinge forward. So flat back, flat back, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, hands on shins or the ground. Exhale, fold. And we'll bring ourselves all the way down to kneeling. Pad out that mat if you need to. You wonderful release rounds of cat cow really work magic on that back. So your wrists are stacked best comfortably you can over your shoulders. You're about hip distance apart with your knees, knees stacked over your hips. You want to tuck your toes and drop a softened belly. So let's warm up into this. We want to let gravity assist us. Our tailbone lifts up, our belly softens, and our gaze comes up, our heart and chest still coming through, shining through. Softening the jaw, breathing here. Come back to neutral, tops of your feet pressed down, chin in towards chest and belly button in towards spine. Let your back round. Same thing with your chin in towards chest. Even if your breath's a little bit shallower, still breathe here. So we'll go back and forth between the two. Really give yourself what you need. Either one breath, each movement, or hang out in one or the other. You can throw in a few side to side. more rounds here. And back towards center. So a lot of times with lower back, it's because the core area, a lot of times tightness and tension you'll feel from stress will build in your lower back, but also from um, lack of mobility and strengthening of the core. So this um, extension of the leg and the arms help in building up that strength. So we start with the foundation of drawing the belly button in towards the spine. We'll extend the right leg back. I'm sorry, left leg back either really will work fine. Foot flexed like you're making a footprint on the wall. Take a look at your toes, turn them down inward. So you're about hip height, you're not very high up with this. Your gaze is at the front of the mat. You can stay here or you can extend your right arm. So the opposite arm, fingers pointed away like you're shaking someone's hand. Breathing here. Beautiful, release that. So other side. Start with that connection, your corset tightening up around the waist, extend that leg back, foot flex, toes turn in, gaze is a little bit past your mat, so one line of energy. Extend that arm. And release. 
release that down. Do a few rounds of that one breath each cycle. So extend left leg, arm, inhale, exhale down. Right leg, left arm, inhale, exhale down. Left leg, right arm, release. So something good to work on, to build up on in that core. So take your knees out wide, big toes together. Let your hips sink. But this is gonna be an active child's pose. We're gonna extend our arms forward and keep our elbows off of the ground. Let our head come down between our arms. So breathing into the back of the body, letting our hips descend. Start to walk your hands to the left. If you want to go deeper in this, stack your right hand on top of your left. Breathing into the side of the body. And then walk your hands back to center over to the other side. Stack if you feel comfortable. center come back up to tabletop so we did that opening of the shoulders we're going to thread the needle so we can compress and close that area a little bit so from tabletop extend that left arm up towards the ceiling and then as you exhale thread it through between your right hand so you're going to come down onto the left side of your face and you have to kind of work yourself into this. You can take that right hand if you want to extend it out. You can keep that elbow bent. Some people even like that hand on their hip. Whatever you work with, you're breathing here and you're letting that compression feeling of countering that opening. One more breath. Press into the right palm. Bring yourself upright. Bring that arm up and then release it down. So other side. Inhale. Sweep up. Exhale. Feed it through. And let your body for a moment adjust to this. Work into it. And every exhale, notice where your breath is captured again. Start to let it descend down. Press the left palm in. Bring that arm back upright and release it down. So we're going to bring ourselves all the way to seated. And then we're going to have that strap handy. We're going to make our way all the way down onto our backs. And draw your knees in towards your chest. And if that's not comfortable and your lower back is really tight, keep a bend in the knees about the mat distance apart and just windshield wiper side to side. Wherever you're at, you can take your knees into a gentle circle. We're just kind of massaging that back into the ground, muscles and tendons along the side, back of the body. So if you'd like to use a strap or a belt, take flexed feet, let them catch your flexed feet. Keep a softened bend in the knee as much as you need to, honoring those hamstrings. So you want to, if you normally keep your elbows down by your side, you want to try something different. You can extend your arms out, keep your arms active. 
and start that pulsing back. And then just find some stillness, something you can work with and breathe through. You can kind of sparkle out your toes, keep those links active. Exhale out through the mouth, side out if it's really tight. And then release that. So if you want to use a strap when we do pigeon pose, you want to take that strap or belt around that right ankle. You can extend that left leg up towards the ceiling and then just mindfully circle out that ankle. Take it in slow motion. And as you do this, relax the shoulders, relax the neck. And take it in the other direction. And point the toe, deep inhale, fill everything up. And hold, exhale, sigh it out. Bring those left toes back towards your head. Then bring that left ankle above that right knee. So this might be enough for you right here. It's already talking to you tight. You might want to just walk that left, that right foot out a little bit. We want to honor any tightness. We don't want to go too far. We want to see how it feels. It's like, okay, we can go a little bit deeper. We can float that right foot up. Use that extension of the strap. Nod your head yes and, I'm sorry, nod your head no, side to side. Make sure there's no tension in your neck, your shoulders. You can take, interlace your fingers around that shin, whatever works for you. As you breathe into that left hip, left side, glutes, big area that holds a lot of tightness and tension. You can stay here as long as you'd like. Some days you're needing it more than others. Release that foot, release that leg. You want to take that strap around your left shin. You're going to bring that right foot up towards the ceiling and you're going to circle out that ankle. In reverse direction. And point the toe. Deep inhale. Fill everything up. Exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> Toes sparkle back. Right shin, right ankle above left knee. So you're we're bringing that right knee away. Notice how that feels. And if you want to bring that in closer, use the strap. Some people even like their hand, one hand on that flexed foot, one hand somewhere on that thigh. Or as I said, interlacing the fingers, take them below that shin. And again, Nod the head, no, side to side. Make sure you're not holding too much tension. And you're keeping that, you wanna keep that channel of breath flowing. This is really wonderful for any sciatic issue. It's also great for the lower back.
one more breath here. And then release that foot and release the strap. Keep the knees drawn in or windshield wiper side to side. So twists are also wonderful for back, keeping that fluidity and spine movement. Keep the knees bent, but keep your knees together and heel toe your feet to the right. Pick up your hips to the right. Extend your arms out shoulder height. Fill up with a nice breath of inhale, exhale, knees to the left. Gaze can be to the right, looking out over that extended arm. So see how it feels with this twist. You can extend that top leg if you want to go deeper. Some people like to put a little bit of pressure by taking that, in this case, that left palm, applying pressure on the outside of that right thigh. So many benefits to these twists. Detoxify, digestive system, bringing that fluidity back, bring the knees back upright. You can heel toe. Pick up your feet, whatever you want to the left, hip to the left, inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. Knee to the right, gaze to the left, if it's comfortable. Sometimes these cervical twists are not what you're wanting to work on. It causes too much tension and tightness. And that's why you just always bring your neck neutral. Bring the knees back upright. So you have that option to windshield wiper your knees, bring the knees in, or happy baby pose. So that's feet flexed. You're walking on the ceiling, so it's like you're bringing your knees in towards your armpits, and your hands catch your feet. So some people like movement in this because it's a much deeper massage along the spine. Some people like to stay in this. Really is a wonderful connection with that spine, and the muscles and tendons in the spine. The reason why it's called happy baby. Wherever you're at, one more breath. And I want you to extend the legs out straight Interlace the fingers, point the toes, take your arms up overhead like a morning stretch. Someone was pulling you in two directions. Deep inhale, feel that breath, suspend, stretch, and exhale, sigh it out. So release your feet, let them splay out. You can keep your arms kind of starfishing out or goal posed. Relax your head, the base of the skull. Inhale, again, and exhale, sigh it out. Close your eyes if you're comfortable. So if anywhere else you're holding tension, let that exhale cascade and soften into that space. a deep release, a deep surrender, a deep letting go. So I encourage you to stay here as long as you'd like. When you come out of it, 
You want to bend the knees and you just want to roll onto one side. And you want to let your body adjust with the spine off of the mat for a moment. Still not losing that connection. And when you feel ready, you can come back out. Then I'm going to go ahead and end the session together. Seated, arms down by your side. On an inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Palms pressed together. Exhale the center line of your body. 